What's up guys and gals? So today I'm going to do I'm gonna be doing an unboxing um, review on the Razer Technical Pro backpack. I've been looking at this backpack for a while and I've really wanted it. I think it's beautiful. I'm a huge Razer fan and I you know I have a lot of Razer products, so I ordered it off of Amazon. On the website, on the on the Razer website you can get it for about uh, what's like 149, something like that. But on Amazon you know, I, I got it for 108 bucks, so like 110 bucks. Not bad, not bad. So let's get into this, huh? All right. Good thing I got a knife on me. Be careful. I don't want to cut open the backpack, so I'll be real careful just getting through this. And I've watched a couple reviews on this, but there's only a couple on this this backpack that I could find at least. I could literally only find like two, so. Um, I'll try to be as in depth as I can. Like I said, uh, I, I wanted this for you know you guys. As you guys know, I travel. I'm on the road, so it would be nice to have extra space, not just for my laptop. All right. Okay. Let's see. Let's get into this here. All right. So uh, it's a bunch of paper. All right. Ooh. It looks. It looks big. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So. Alright, so it comes in uh, a little baggy. Let's take it out of this. It feels nice. Alright. Now it looks small, it looks like it's very thin. Um, but you know, I'm guessing maybe it is thin, I don't know. It does, it's, it is pretty fucking thin, I'll be honest on that, damn. Uh, so. Just looking at it now, you know, taking a look at it, uh, I don't think it's too much bigger than a standard. I don't think it's bigger than a standard. I think it's smaller than a standard backpack, to be completely honest, which is a total downside, but that's okay. I'm still going to use it, so whatever. All right, let's see here. Let's go ahead and open up the top. So on the top, you know, you got, it's very, very nice. Uh, nylon, maybe leather. Um, you got the Razor symbol logo. It's pretty beautiful. It's nice. You open it up. Um, here's your first. This is your first. Uh, uh, wow, it is really limited. I'm guessing this is where your laptop goes, right in here. So it's the first pouch. That's where your laptop goes. Not what I expected, but uh, a lot of cushion, a lot of comfort. So it's definitely well protected here. Let me get a good view of that. Better view of that. You know, not not so you can, yeah you, you might yeah you might be able to put something in between, put two laptops in there, but not a whole lot of room in there. Um, then you got the here's another. This is, this is your second one, your last one I believe. All right, so you got this now. In both reviews, guys. Here, let me get this out. All right, let me. Wow, this really doesn't open much. There's another little pad in here. Let me. How does this come off? Okay, so it's just Velcro on. Oh yeah, so this right here, guys. Now, in both reviews I saw, both the, basically they said, oh, you know, we'll just throw this away because we don't know what the hell it is. Well, what this is, is I'll show you my next video when I do a review for the, the Kraken headset. Basically, your headset goes around this, guys. It goes around this. Now, a lot of reviewers, they're like, you know, head, it looks like it fits headsets, but that's the thing, the headsets don't go in here. You put other things in here, miscellaneous, maybe your, your Razer Naga, uh, you know, uh, whatever. You know, put something else in here, uh, batteries, a cord, anything. You put something in here, you know, your headset doesn't go in here. Your headset goes around it, guys. It goes around it. So don't throw this away when you get it. If you already watched one of those reviews and threw it away, well, now you know what it's for. I'm sorry the reviewer didn't tell you or know what the hell it's for. It's actually, if you really think about it for a minute, it's like common sense. Anyways, yeah. Um, yeah, space is very limited, guys. So if you are using this for just gaming, um, it'll definitely hold all your equipment, I think. Here, let's get a see. It doesn't open much. It has it, like there's a lot of resistance. So there, there, it is limited on on stuff you can carry. I mean, this is really for gaming. All right, so go ahead and put that back in there. Like I said, it's Velcro's on there. Um, so just put that back in there. Uh, and then you got a, you got your pouch right here. Um, you got your more uh, Razer logo symbols. These are Velcroed on, so you can take them on, leave them off, whatever you want to do. Now this same with this. This is this doesn't open up too well either. Maybe over time it might open up more. I'll do another review 
Uh, ooh, you got, ooh, ooh, it's very soft. You have like a little um, pouch right here. Maybe put, put, a, put your phone, uh, iPad, a tablet, you know. You got a bunch of slots right here for cards and whatnot. Uh, credit cards, whatever, wallet, anything. So like I said, guys, uh, if you are looking uh, as just a gaming backpack as what I can tell so far, this thing is great for gaming, but probably gaming only, nothing else. You ain't gonna fit no clothes in here, so I'm. There goes my plan. I wanted to, you know, have. I wanted to. I wanted to have my gaming laptop, all my gaming gear, wires, all that, and then maybe some more room. I don't. I don't see that being a possibility. Uh, it's very limited. All right. So, and then you guys got your side pockets right here. Let me, you know, uh, get a little closer. Um, open up Velcro. Is it pretty deep? Yee, holy shit, it's, it's actually pretty deep. Um, I would say, um, dude, I watched him do a review and he was like, oh look, all my hand fits, guys. All my hand fits and it's all the way out. Well, here, let me be more specific with that. How about, uh, uh, I wanna say this is about seven inches deep. Seven inches deep and uh, three and a half inches wide. So you could put, you could put a lot of stuff in here. You could probably put like, I mean, let's be honest, you could probably put like two phones in here, maybe uh, three mouses, uh, two drinks. There's a lot of stuff you could put in here. So these side pouches are definitely roomy, for sure. They Velcro, they're pretty sweet looking. They got, uh, you know, stuff to strap it down, uh, keep it in there. If, if, if uh, you can't close it, say it's drinks or whatever. There are all kinds of straps on this thing. Um, all right, then we'll go to the front pockets, see how deep those are. We're going to take this stuff out. Again, um... He did the same thing. He's like, oh, look, my whole hand fits, guys. Well, here's the thing about that. Uh, this one's not too deep. You could probably fit a, you probably fit one drink in there, water bottle, uh, energy drink, something like that. It's not going to close, but, uh, y you know, um, you could fit a mouse in there. You could fit some wires in there. You can you can get some stuff in there. As far as the, these aren't Velcroed on, guys. These ones on, oh, wait, actually, are they, hold on. Okay, they are. It's different, though. Here, let me show you. Um, and both of them are the same size, guys, so... Yeah, same exact size. Pretty cool. Pretty nifty. Pretty legit looking. Um, so what we got right here, we got straps. So it's a it's a strap Velcro, and then it straps around these hooks right here. So we got hooks. So that's that's different. It's a little more secure, you know, because uh, when I ordered it, I worried, you know, what the, it just gets ripped off. But it's a little more secure because it's kind of wrapping around it with the Velcro. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and put that back on. I'm not sure how. Alright. Um, it's a little higher. Hold on. I want to. It's got to be perfect. It's getting hot in here. Okay. Get that like that. And yeah, there we go. Okay. Alright, so then we'll go to the other side. Kind of basically the same thing, guys. Um, I'd say about. About uh, seven inches deep in it, and like uh, three and a half inches wide. So, like I said, you could put a lot of stuff in here. You could put a ton of wires. Probably put an iPad, uh, depending on the size. Now we'll go to the back, guys. Um, very well padded. Very well padded for comfortability. You get a free keychain. Says remove before remove before uh, fight. So that's that's cool, I guess. So you get a free keychain too. So that's that's legit. Um, all kinds of straps again, like most backpacks do come with, you know, extra extra support. Um, I guess I could put it on as a demonstration. Oh, oh, and then you got you know the back, which again is nice and padded, which is nice. Um, everyone likes padding, especially when you're gonna have a bit a laptop on your back. Um, and then the coolest feature about this backpack, guys, is right underneath the backpack, which this is pretty unique, I'd have to say. And it's very, very nice. I believe it's leather material, nice and flat, flat surface. Unzip this, right? And out comes a little uh, little parachute, a little poncho, I want to call it, um, which goes like this. And you just whoop, right over your backpack when it's raining. And you are now officially and 100% waterproof. So that's cool. Razor really is, you know, thinking about the customer. They're like, you know, hey, maybe these are in a rainy weather condition. They love our backpack. They love our product. We need to have them be waterproof. So that's cool by itself. And like how it just comes out of the bottom. It's, you know, it's on the way. It's not, you know, so just uh, kind of roll it back up. And 
shove it on back in there. It's pretty neat. I think it's a cool feature. It's definitely unique. It's not something you see. I've never seen that in a backpack. So definitely, definitely neat. And then, uh, you know, um, here, like, like I said, I'll go ahead and put it on. There's nothing in it, but let it on. A little demonstration. Demonstration, you know, see you got straps just like just like any other backpack, you know um, It's a it's a cool backpack. It's definitely nice. I'm, I'm stoked to have it. I am a little disappointed on the room There's not a lot of room guys. Like I said, if you're buying this for uh, Schooling and gaming, it's probably not gonna work out. It's definitely smaller than a regular size standard backpack so that's the downfall but other than that guys it's really cool you know um, great material I'm definitely sure it's gonna last a very long time and I'm totally stoked it's really cool but what I think would be really really nice is if you actually because you know you got more velcro right here so you basically you can move these up or or have one or whatever you want but it would be cool if it came with two extra ones that aren't attached but if you wanted to you could put them on here I think that would be pretty nifty that would be cool just a little more extra room because it is limited on space I mean you can tell you can, I'm a slender guy you can tell I mean I want to say it's uh, uh, mm, I want to say it's total size maybe like uh, four inches five inches something like that it's 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 not it's not that big it's not huge this isn't gonna hold a lot it's gonna hold your gaming gear that's about it anyways guys this is the uh, the Razer Technical Pro backpack for gamers by Razer you can get it off Amazon right now for about hundred and ten dollars or you can go to Razer's website and you can get it for hundred and 50. So it's up to you guys. I recommend this backpack. I think it's awesome. I'll do another review down the road because it's definitely good to do a review after actually owning the product. I mean, this is a unboxing, unboxing and opening. So uh, I recommend it for now. Maybe change my mind down the road once I use it. Uh, but this is, like I said, this is the Razer uh, Technical Pro backpack. And uh, if you guys are new to my channel, I been doing reviews so if you like my reviews go ahead and give this a like please and thank you I also do uh, I've done a whole entire vlog on CR England and Swift if you have any uh, trucking questions I could answer that I also do some World of Warcraft and uh, maybe some DBZ now so yeah uh, my name is Jared and if you like this video like I said give it a like up if you're new to my channel go ahead and subscribe I totally appreciate it every 100 uh, subscribers I do a giveaway every 1,000 if I get a thousand I'll do a big giveaway so you guys have a one